cry if I want to, cry if I want to. You would cry too if it happened to you. Let's have a medley. I'll be there in every town and every city. I'll be there. No longer doing this deal at one pound twenty-five. What a pity. Welcome to Swiggy and Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews, and if you haven't guessed already, it's my birthday. And I'm wearing my birthday t-shirt, courtesy of my mum and dad, thank you. Um, so here we go. Aldi, yeah. So going back to what I was saying about Aldi in the song there, in the little medley that I put together. Aldi, you, I hope you're watching Aldi, I hope you're watching. Because you had a fantastic range of beers at £1.25. And I went in, there was oh, maybe 20 beers, most of which I'd never tried before. Most of which I've tried since... Not reviewed, but tried, and they're all really, really good. But they're not there anymore. And it's kind of gone back to the old traditional beers that everyone's drunk a thousand times before. So, Aldi, if you're watching, bring them back in. This was one of them, and I managed to save this one. And this one's called The Wizard. And it's by Robinson's Brewery. Robinson's Brewery, famous for Old Tom. The unicorn beer that they do, that unicorn blonde. I think they do like a blonde bombshell or something. Or it might be this, I don't know. I can't remember. They all, they all, all, a lot of these are very similar, aren't they? Robinson's Brewery, very reliable brewery, fantastic beers um, in Lancashire, near, not far from Thwaites I believe, uh, that sort of area, 3.7% nice session beer and on the front here it's telling us what hops it's using, so it's in the hop variety here, we've got Bramlin's Cross, uh, EKG, First Gold, Challenger and Admiral, so this is going to be a very quintessentially British beer I believe. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to it. So. A bit sad today. I, I'm, uh, my, my wife's working all day and my daughter's uh, at Play World, so, or nursery. So I'm not, um, I'm on my own. So I thought I'd do a quick beer review. I'll not be on my own. I had a bit of a party last night, so I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining. Lovely little bottle cap there. Oh. A little smell. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, very earthy, hedgerowy sort of smells. Grassy smells. Um, uh, barky, tree barky sort of smells. S tree sap, maybe, even that sort of smell. Getting from that. Lovely, lovely, and then you're getting a lovely sort of bready. Slight grapefruit, slight, slight lemon zest to it as well. You're getting a lovely, yeah, you're going back to the malts, you're getting a lovely uh, malty, bready sort of biscuit, but you are, you are greeted by these earthy, chunky hops. But no, that, actually, the, the malts in it are quite, quite um, uh, slight burnt bread sort of smell, crusty bread. So, well, very, very traditionally British smelling beer. So far, uh, lovely sort of um, caramelly sort of colour there. And I'm looking forward to this, so cheers. And cheers to uh, Robinson's for my birthday beer. £1.25 at Aldi. Here we go. Love the little beer. Getting, mm. you can tell when it's good quality as well because you, you you go through the phases. So the the hops greet you straight away on your tongue. You get those like really earthy hops that are sort of clawing away at your taste buds a little bit, but not too much. And then as you drink it, you are left with this lovely caramel, lovely caramelly taste, almost like a buttery caramel. And then you you go through like a bit of a cere halfway through you go through a little bit of a cereally sort of taste on your tongue. Overall, a lovely beer, really nice. Body, um, it's it's a, a session beer. It's not. It's, it's relatively thin body. A bit of a nutty taste to it as well. Um, but yeah, very almost subtly savoury. Like a subtle savoury taste to it, uh, but love absolutely the perfect session beer for the weather. 
Um, really, really nice. Nothing special. This isn't a beer that you're going to drink and go, oh, that's different. It's just a very well put together traditional British bitter, I think. It says an amber beer there. Amber beer, yeah, fine. Whatever. Traditional amber beer. And I've not heard of this one before. This must be a new one, Wizard. I've, I've definitely not heard of this before. What's it say there? Made using five British hops. Cool. Nice. Mm. Yeah, very, very, very sessionable. Um, slight roastiness to it, actually. Um, not heavy, not heavily, but it, maybe it's the, it's the bitterness from the hops, the earthiness from the hops, and the, the malts that they've used in there that have created. Oh, oh, it's giving it almost a sort of like roasted taste. I don't know if there is. I don't think there will be, but it's not like a stout or anything like that. But a slight roasted taste to it. Let's read about the beer, shall we? Let's fill it up to the top. Right to the top first, and there we go. I'm busting the skin head again. Um, here we go. Inspired by local Cheshire legend, the Wizard of Adderley Edge of Adderley Edge, we have combined five English hops, pale wheat, and crystal malt. So that tells us what malts are in there to produce the Wizard, a Moorish sessionable, 3.7% ABV mythical amber ale, packed full of flavour. Wizard has a spellbinding fruity and zesty hop palate. Complemented by a magical full malt character. It has got a very full malt character to it. And it has got zesty. It. It's it's quite, yeah, the hops are quite, almost like quite chewy hops, I suppose. I'm getting like a lactose sort of consistency in my mouth. Drink this and take thy fill. Of the waterfalls by the wizard's will. Some old footlore there. Although they don't talk like that in Lancashire. You want more? Oh, that were a really bad Lancashire accent. Don't, don't you? just ignore that. So this is um, so this is what it's saying here. Style. Uh, amber. It smell. Uh, malty. Aromatic. Floral. Hop. Red berries. Not getting red berries. Maybe it may be a cranberry sort of smell. Uh, taste. Sorry. Um, taste on there, zesty, full bodied, hint of black currant. I, I can't get, I don't think I can get black currant on it. You're all getting slight currenty notes on it, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't go black currant, but now, now I've read it, I can pick out subtle currants in there in the background. It's a lovely beer. One pound twenty-five. It's a, it's a, it's well worth it. Five hundred milliliters. You know, it's not five hundred. It's not three thirty, or even less, three hundred or two twenty. Some more. Um, it's absolutely spot on. If you see this in Aldi, go and buy it because it's nice. If you're new to beer, I wouldn't bother because I think it's a little, it might be. I think it's a bit too hoppy. It might be a little bit too hoppy. If you like your session beers, you'll love this. If um, if you're not if you know if you if, if you just look, if you like your craft ales and you like your really heavy hopped beers, it's quite malty. It's on the malty side, so you know. Anyway, cheers. I'm going to give this a good solid uh, 7.9 out of 10. Not quite an 8 for me. 7.9. I think that's very good though. It's a very honest beer. Um, I really like it and I would definitely buy this again for £1.25 and I suggest you do the same. Till next time, see you around.